Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Divination, which is a brand new custom RSPS hosted by someone you will most likely know if you have played my own server. Um, the owner is actually Mike Wheelots, or if you um, know him from my server, he was the administrator on my server. So after I lost Immortal basically because of all the issues, um, he didn't want to go, like he didn't want to let go of RSPS, so he decided to create his own custom 317. And here is it, here it is, so I'll be advertising this for him right now. Uh, but anyways, before we actually get into this video, I want to announce that I am doing a giveaway in this video. So the first commenter will win a cash box plus. I'll open a sum in just a moment as well. Um, and then there will be four random winners. One will get an aura booster box, one will get a divine mystery box, another one will get another cash box and also a rig pad. So there will be five winners in total. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, also turn on the notifications because I might be picking the first commenter to win sometimes. Make sure you like the video and comment your in-game name down below and I'll be picking the winners in about 2 days. Anyways, this video I will be recording on the account of Mike himself. He is trusting me with his account for this video because he didn't want to spam a bunch of stuff in for me. Uh, he said it was easier that way, so that's why I will be on his account throughout the whole video. Alright, so starting off, I will actually be opening 10 of these cash boxes, which as you can see can get you quite a lot of money. So um, yeah, as you can see right now, I am getting some uncommon and common rewards. I got a rare in the beginning. Let's see if we can get another huge tag, which is rare. Come on. Okay, so even from only one rare, as you can see we only got like one rare in the beginning, which was 89 trill, we still managed to get 264 trillion um, GPs by just opening 10 of these boxes, so yeah, that's a nice way to get some cash. Um, now I'm going to open 10 of these Divine Mystery boxes, now if you ask mind this, you can actually see 90% chance of getting end game gear, which is insane, as you can see. Oh damn, you actually get quite a lot, so you get like 675 trill cash from one box, you get a grand lottery book which um, gives you 50 grand lottery tokens, a divine luck potion which um, will increase your luck by 5% for 24 hours, I didn't know that, and I also got an auto booster box which gave me a steel skin. Um, I actually have no idea what that, what that does, but I'm going to use my um, fortune uh, tier 3 of course, because that... Um, yeah, that's actually really good. It gives like a bunch of increased drop rate. I don't know how much exactly, but let's see if we open up some more. Oh, we just got a Centuration Torva Helm. What else do we get? Sears Boots. Um, Sears Gloves. Oh no, this is, uh, is Berserker Gloves. Let's see. Oh, we also got a Golden Minigun. That's nice. Um, American Boxing Gloves. I don't know how good these are. We also got a Key Medium. I don't know where to use this. But as you can see, you get these luck potions every time, um, and you also get these grand lottery books every time, so I'm just going to spam open these. I also got uh, 340 trill cash, which is uh, quite a lot. Let's have a look here. Oh, we got a regular minigun and another, two more American boxing gloves. But yeah, 5,600 bills tickets. That's, that's, no, that's more. We just got like 5.6 quadrillion GP from that. That's insane, man. That's actually quite insane. But I mean, all these other items. But anyways, let's continue with the actual tour of the video now. Alright, now the first thing I want to showcase is actually two mini games. Now, if you type colon colon arcade, you can actually go by, to here by running as well. It's next to the home area. But you can actually start um, the arcade game itself. Then you can check the arcade store real quick, which I'll do. You can see you can get like a bunch of items here. Also like a Pac-Man Jr. pet and stuff. Link armor. Uh, and you can also play an Avenger game, and then you have the Avenger Sword, of course, where you can buy Spider-Man armor, Captain America, Infinity Gauntlets, um, and of course some Bills checks as well. But yeah, to start you can actually just click play game. Now for the arcade itself, it's actually um, si uh, 60 waves if I am correctly. Each wave will get harder and harder, of course. I am now using a Slimer pet. Now the Slimer pet will actually aid me while attacking. I'll also show a custom pet which you can get here um, later on in the video. But um, yeah, right now I'm using the Slimer pet. Of course, for harder bosses it will be helping. Now I'm just one hitting the NPCs. But as you can see, the waves will go on and on until like wave 60 normally, I think. So yeah, I'll be AFKing, AFKing this for quite a while until I'm actually at the last wave. Uh, or until I actually die. Now as you can see for each wave that you actually complete you do get yourself some arcade tokens. Now the higher the wave the more tokens you get uh, for finishing the waves. As you can see you got 45 last wave now 60. 
but um yeah i'll actually be ending right here i'll just be leaving real quick because um yeah i just yeah yes leave because i just realized that uh, it would actually take quite a while now for the play adventures game um, if you actually go in here, you do need to be with two, so I'll just get myself uh, my other account in here. So yeah, you actually need to be with two accounts to start the Avenger minigame. Now once you are here, it will start in just a moment um, if I continue on my other account. Okay, there we go. So um, once you are here, you will actually have to defeat 11 bosses in total. Um, and then you can go ahead and kill the final boss. I haven't actually done the complete rage yet So it will be a surprise for me as well. So hopefully it turns out well So I'll be back once I finish the raid. Oh, yeah I don't think I have mentioned this yet, but you do need actually all three combat styles So that's why I have a side a staff and of course a uh, AK-47 I don't know what you need for the Iron Man So I think it's either range or mage and um, let me just get off this thing real quick and um, Here we go. Oh, I should get get off okay there we go now i should be able to attack it here um but yeah i don't know if you need ranger mage of course my other account just died so um, i am on my own now uh i suppose i do need mage for this so um yeah normally this stuff should be automatic so yeah there we go i'll be killing it in a moment all right so once you have killed all nine bosses that are actually in the caves themselves you can go ahead and go in here However, there is one thing, one of the bosses range your prayer, I totally forgot about that, so now I have zero prayer points to soul split, so hopefully I will survive, I have no idea if I actually can, but um, yeah, hopefully I can. Okay, I totally failed that, but before I actually go back, I forgot to mention this, but you can also have like a custom prayer book here, so if you pray at this altar, you can get this custom prayer book, I will be using executive plus, you also need the executive donator rank for this of course. Um, but what this does, it actually gives the soul split effect plus drop rate boost of 5% and a double drop boost of 5%. Um, so yeah, that is actually really nice. So that's what I'll be using this time around. Alright, so I failed twice now, so I'm giving up. Uh, even an OP gear I managed to fail. Probably because I was alone. Um, you can actually do this with multiple players, so I recommend that. Because the final phase is actually quite hard. Like, they hit you through prayer, nobody cares how hard. Now, of course, you also have a market area where you can buy and sell items. Right here, you do actually have all the shops, as you can see. You have, like, the general stores. You have the second general store, which... Uh, yeah, I suppose they just sell a bunch of random stuff really quickly uh, and then you of course have all these stores for armor and all that good stuff. So yeah, you do have quite a lot of stores here. Uh, you also have a clue shop, which uh, I don't know what you can actually buy here. Uh, let me check. Oh, so you can get yourself some um, clue rewards here. Um, death cape only 200 mil. Okay, that's pretty nice. Now when you go to Colin Colin Train, this is basically where you can start as a new player to actually begin making some money. So as you can see, you will be teleported to this square. As you can see, you have like Flame Pernix, Flame Torva, you have Beginner Boss there, you have some Rock Raps to start, uh, Tunch Bob, and then Pikachus and Charis, uh, Charmanders. Now, as you can see, once you actually attack these, you also have a Banker here, which I didn't know. But um, yeah, once you get uh, attack these, you will be able to get yourself some drops as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, you can upgrade to better bosses to get some better loot and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is the basic training area where you can start out, get yourself some um, beginning money and all that good stuff, get your levels up uh, before you actually go to the harder bosses. Now if you actually go to this right here at the bottom left, you can see there are a bunch of um, options here. Now for the boss teleports, as you can see there are a bunch of bosses. These are actually ranked from the easiest bosses up to the hardest bosses. So the Keon would be the hardest boss that they have right now. Um, and then you also have Icy Skeleton, you have uh, Mage Grey, Necromancer, Olaf, Groudon. You basically have a bunch of different bosses. You also have the regular man uh, monsters that you can go to for um, Slayer and stuff. City, Skilling, Raids, Minigames, Teleports. Of course you do have like quite a lot of minigames like Dual Arena, Warrior Guild. Um, and also some custom minigames which are really nice. Also the arcade and stuff is a custom minigame. So yeah, that is very nice as well. Now there is also a mini me path which I'll show right now. Now if you type Colin Colin Mini once you have unlocked this, you do need to buy this um, to actually unlock this path. You can summon the path and right here you can see, uh, you can actually gear your uh, path. As you can see, mine is already level 73. It will level up itself as well. But um, as you can see, mine has an AK-47, just some fashion scape, nothing too special really. But also, once you type mini, you can actually see, you can um, call it to yourself. You can also make it attack others. You can check the details and remove a combat spell. Um, so if you check the details right now, you can actually see it's 99 range, 99 prayer, 1 magic, 1 runecrafting, 1 attack, strength and defense. 
Um, you can also check the current bonuses that it has, so that is really nice. Now if I actually go to Kong Kong Train real quick, I'll actually show you how this pet works. So once you are at a, an area with a bunch of NPCs, I'll actually go into here. You can actually type um, Kong Kong Mini once you get next to the NPCs. Okay, don't attack it, my bad. So um, once you get it, you can actually type Mini Me and attack. And then it should be attacking all these NPCs for you. So as you can see, the Mini Me pet is now actually killing these NPCs for me. So that is really nice. Now to gear up the mini-me you can actually just use an item on it so uh, that will switch out the item that it has at the moment. It was wearing ice gloves, if I use these again I will get my uh, mythic clothes back. So yeah, like that you can actually um, upgrade your, or actually gear up your mini-me pet which will aid you in uh, fighting stuff and that's really nice as well of course. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did make sure to smash that like button. And don't forget to enter the giveaway because this is actually a $125 worth of items giveaway. But yeah, definitely make sure to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Peace.